What's up, it's Joe, and in this video, we're gonna talk about eight strategies for overcoming approach anxiety. So let's get straight into it. Tip number one is the five second rule. Now, Mel Robbins, she's a woman who managed to write a whole book about how about if you count down from five, four, three, two, one, and then just propel yourself into like the scary thing that you wanna do, it will change your life. Now, in most of this book, it talks about like hesitation, and how when you hesitate, your brain begins to like get signals that something that's scary or dangerous is gonna happen. And it's then that it starts to flood your mind with excuses, uh, makes your heart beat faster, makes your arms and legs heavy, whatever, all these symptoms of fear, all right? But if you don't hesitate, and you don't think about the best way to do something and what might happen and what might not, and all this like uh, looking into the future, if you don't do any of that, and you just count five, four, three, two, one, and then go, it's gonna make things a lot easier, all right? So that's what I would recommend that you do as well when you see that lovely girl, all right? Also, like you don't know how much time until she walks into the, the shop or that she, some other guy goes and talks to her. So again, five, four, three, two, one, go. That's the best thing you can do, honestly. Okay, number two is to reinterpret these symptoms of fear and re reinterpret them as excitement all right so what are the symptoms we talked about faster heart rate uh, heavier limbs like your brain trying to think about what might happen all right yeah yeah these are also symptoms of excitement these are symptoms that something important is about to happen that is huge important all right you only get these symptoms like if you care about the outcome all right so that means you have to do it once you start to recognize these symptoms count down five four three two one and then go all right number three is forget about fear of failure there is no failure in this you either win or you learn all right so you either win in the moment the girl likes you the girl gives you her phone number the girl whatever the fuck she sucks your dick in the bathroom Ugh. Um, or she doesn't do any of those things she doesn't like you at all but what are the wins then the win is you like uh, you overcame your comfort zone and we'll talk about why that's good later on the win is you did something that like most guys are too scared to do the, a really big win is that you got the reference experience that will help you improve like next time and also, we're gonna talk about how like doing things over and over and over again makes things less scary in the long term, okay? So it's just all a win. Like, the only failure is pushing out or giving up, and going monk mode. <laughs> okay, number four is to make yourself accountable, all right? Now, let's say you, you're going out to talk to girls, you're gonna go do day game on your own. What a really good thing I would recommend is that you like announce that either to like your friend or like to, to us in like the Telegram or the Facebook groups all right and then you get someone to like check up on you to find out how you did all right or even better you find someone to go out with you and and like you tell them what your goals are i want to talk to this many amount of people like okay <sighs> what does this do well if you now if you pussy out someone knows about it okay and for sure, for me, like I would rather like just try and do the scary thing than have someone know that I'm a scary cat or I'm a pussy, all right? So this is why you wanna make yourself accountable. Number five is to journal your progress, all right? Some people call it field reports, all right? We recommend you do this. Whenever you're going out to do anything to like better yourself, you're on some sort of personal journey, uh, we recommend that you write down every single day like three things that you did well and three things that you did that you could improve upon the next day. Why? Why do this? Well, the three things that you did well is to keep yourself encouraged, to help you see that you're improving and yeah, to help you realise that you're not a complete failure. <laughs> um, now the three things that you can improve upon the next day, you write these down because now you know what to go and study and learn about. And then once you do the studying and learning, learning, you give yourself the belief that like when you go out and do it the next day, you, you will improve because you have this new information. Okay, that's why we, re we recommend writing field reports. But here's the thing, like if you have to write down, oh, I saw this woman at the tube station 
but I was too scared to speak to her. When you write that down and make it tangible, first off, you're reliving that moment when you pissed out, and that's really uncomfortable. You don't want to have to re go through that again. Second, like the fact that it's tangible, that sucks as well. And especially if you're sharing this with people, perhaps like on like a blog or on the game global Facebook or wherever, and we would recommend you do that. Again, you now have to admit to the world that you're like a, a scaredy cat, <laughs> a pussy. All right, and like I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to relive the moment that I was a pussy, and I definitely don't want to have to tell people about it. And probably you won't like doing that either. So that's why we recommend you do it. Okay, better to tell people that you were scared and that you did it anyway. That's 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 a win, as we already talked about. All right, number six, and I don't like talking about this, but it it's really, really motivates me, and that is to remember the fact that you're going to die. <laughs> oh, I hate talking about this one. Um, people think that they have forever to, to live their dreams and do what they want to do, but it's not true. <laughs> it's not true. Uh, eventually, you're not, you don't have infinite amount of opportunities to, to get good at this, or to get good at anything, or to do what you want to do in life. At some point, you're either going to die or you're going to have some dramatic thing happen in your life that means you can't do it anymore, okay? Or, like, there's a pandemic, all right? Uh, <laughs> like, this will show you. This is what it's like to, like, oh, I want to do this thing, but I can't, okay? And it ain't nice. And, like, the scariest thing of all, and I, I get really uncomfortable whenever I talk about this, is like the fact that like maybe when you're on your deathbed and you have to look back and it's like oh i had one shot at life and i never was able to do i was never able to sleep with a beautiful woman i was never able to overcome approach anxiety i was a scaredy cat my whole life uh i never had the relationships i wanted i never had the experiences i wanted i had a shit life and now i'm gonna die ah it's terrible <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, not everyone gets the chance to be on their deathbed and, and contemplate these things. For some people, it's like bang over. But still, this is just something that I don't like talking about, but it motivates me to do a lot of things. Uh, so that's why I included it in the video. Number seven is like practice. We kind of touched upon this already, but like it's important for you to know, like the more that you practice at something, the easier it gets. Okay. Uh, I see like interviews with like bands and musicians and they always ask like oh isn't it scary performing in front of 80,000 people at Wembley Stadium and then they always kind of say like uh, well n yeah but then I've done it so many times that like you just go out and do it and you kind of trust in your faculties all right so this might be a useless tip if you're scared of doing something for the first time you've never done a day game approach but just know that, that you, the more you do it, the more like reference experience that you're not gonna die. <laughs> it's not so bad getting rejected. It's not so scary, like the easier it becomes, all right? Same with anything, same with talking into the camera, same with performing in front of a crowd, and it's the same with approaching a woman, all right? <sighs> and okay, and the final tip is to just do scary things in general. Here's the thing, like overcoming fear is pretty much like, it re requires willpower. All right. Now, the part of our brain which produces willpower is called the prefrontal cortex. And it works like a muscle in a lot of ways. But the way that we care about is the fact that like, the more that you use your willpower muscle, if you want to call it that, the prefrontal cortex, the more that you use this, the stronger it becomes. All right. This is why we actually we created a course, Kieran and I, uh, a couple of years ago called four weeks to unstoppable confidence uh now this course features 28 daily challenges that help to push you out of your comfort zone in many different ways now in the first like one two three four five days the challenges are really really easy but they get harder as the course goes on all right until they become like unstoppably difficult challenges <laughs> but they're not because the people who take this course uh, they're, build, they're using their willpower muscle every single day. They're growing it nice and strong every single day. So by the time day 24, 25, 26, 27 comes across, they are powerful and confident and strong enough to do these ridiculously hard challenges. 
and that, that is how you gain unstoppable confidence all right uh, this challenge is still available online you can see the video course or get the book at fourweekconfidence.com also, if you want to dive deeper, if eight ways to overcome your approach anxiety isn't enough, uh, we also have a free ebook called How to Conquer Social Anxiety. And the link for that is in the description as well. All right, subscribe to the Game Global channel. This is where we put all our best video content. My name's Joe, and I'll speak to you real soon. If you've enjoyed this video, then we have got a free download for you. Go to the description and download your free PDF, which is called How to Conquer Social Anxiety. It's got loads of extra great tips and techniques that you can use to smash your anxiety to pieces and become that strong, confident guy who knows how to command the room, approach women or just get what he wants from life.